Here is lesson 16. I'm going to do, uh, do it again. <clears throat> so many people think you have to have the right brush. They see the brush in, that I'm using in lesson 16, the one inch flat with a clear handle. That is not important. What's important is use any brush we want. Now here, here I've got a one inch flat, or here's a two inch flat, here's a one inch flat, Here's a small round. Any of these brushes work. The point of lesson 16 is that here's our palette. And we want to just get, if it's dark, here's a dark purple, okay? It doesn't matter what color we use on this. It's dark, so let's make this dark here, all right? It's not the brush. I can use this brush if I want. I can use any color I want. Let's go to green here now camera's shaking a little bit. A little green here. Let's put green in here like this. Let's put some blue down here like this here. It's dark here. So let's get darker over here. So there's that brush. Now let's go to this brush here. We can go, I'm doing this very quick just to show you the point. Again, any color we want, get the value right. So I'll do this very quick. This is dark. That's dark. Put it in there. Save your lights. We're going to put that in there, and as quickly and as roughly as I will do this, and we're using, again, we're going to use this, this brush. This is a one inch here, one inch flat, got the clear handle. Let's switch over to this one inch. So it doesn't matter what brush you have. Here's another one inch. Keep bumping the camera with my head. And let's go, now we're gonna, doesn't matter, get brown, whatever you want, get it dark here, that has to go dark. Use this brush here, any color we want, we're coming here like this. The point is, let's go to this brush here for a little bit, okay? So we can use this brush, this small brush. It doesn't matter, it just takes longer. The smaller the brush, the longer it takes. Yeah, we can get more detailed. Uh, so we'll come in here and work around this eye and get a little more detailed coming here like this. So we're starting to get that, but we can do that with a big brush if we're careful. We're going to come through here like this. Let's go back to this brush here. Here's the one inch flat, nice big brush. And again, let's come in here and let's get some green, whatever, it doesn't matter. Put some green in here like this, come down here like this. Any color we want. Let's get some orange here. Any color you want or come through here like this. Just paint around your lights. Get your darker colors in here like this. Maybe you're going to get a little bit darker through here. A little bit darker in through here. And we need to figure where we're at. We'll come right down here like this. So we paint around our lights, paint around our darks. A little bit of a highlight right in here. And uh, keep on going. Let's get darker right down and through here. Right through here. Now let's go again. Let's go to this brush. Doesn't matter what brush we use. Have to be a little bit more careful here or we won't even be able to recognize this face. So we're going to come in here like this. We're going to come down here and come a little bit dark through here. Let's not get lost so we know where we're at. I'm using green. Any color we want. There's a few whiskers in here. Let's paint around here. Gonna get darker in through here. Right here like this. It gets darker around the nostril. It gets darker inside. It gets darker here. <clears throat> um, you can see it's starting to come together. Again, there's nothing magical. There's nothing talented about what I'm doing. Or it's not the technique. It's not the brush. We can put our paint down with our fingers. Let's use our fingers. If it's dark, get it dark. This is supposed to be dark here. Just get it dark here and use anything you have. It doesn't matter what technique, but this has to get darker here. Any color you want, but this has to get darker because this is darker. That's the point. The big point of all of my lessons is it's not your technique. It's not your brush. Not if you want to get realism. Just get it dark where it's dark. Now everybody's going to start saying, oh, you got to use fingers here to get a good portrait. See, that's the point is, no, use any brush you want. We can come in here like this. We're going to come down here like this. 
come through here like this and pull this down like this here, a little bit darker through here. And again, it's going to turn out as long as not the equipment, but as long as we use the correct value. Come through here like this. Let's get a little darker through here like this here. And uh, down here. Again, this gets dark through here, but it changes color as we come in here. It gets darker here. And let's go to, again, different brush, doesn't matter. The smaller the brush and the slower we go, uh, the more detailed the painting gets. Uh, the, the, uh, so this is, so now we can start throwing a little bit of color around. Let's throw some red in here. Let's throw some orange down in here. Any color, just have some fun with this thing like this. Here's his nose here like this. A little bit of a highlight right here. We got to get darker right through here. And again, we go back to the, let's go to the little brush for a while. So we, we can go to the little brush, try a different color. Come through here like this. This all has to get darker here. So use the little brush. We've got to throw a little bit of color in through here. See this here? I'm looking. We look back and forth, back and forth in order to get this to work. So this has to get darker through here. It's got to get a little bit darker through here. And a bit in through here. Got to get dark around his mouth here like this. Like this here. Got a few little darks in through here. Through here like this. And... You know, the design-wise, this shape here is important because that talks to that. Uh, we've got a little bit of color through here, a little bit of color. This needs to be toned down here a little bit. Say that, bring a little bit of that, maybe a little bit of yellow through here. Got to put his eyebrow in here. Look at his eyebrow. I haven't put that in. Doesn't matter. Use your fingers, use a brush, any brush you want. That has to go in there. That has to get darker. And then his his eye is not all white. So we have to use a little brush, big brush, whatever you want. We're going to come in here like this. Going to get a little darker through here. You've got a couple little highlights in here. Let's try to leave those in there like that. And get a little bit darker right in through here. And... All right. Okay, that's uh, I've worked on it just a little bit more to fix a few things. But for the most part, the point of this lesson is don't worry about your equipment. Use whatever brush, whatever colors. For the most part, when we're trying to get something realistic, uh, you know, use whatever you want. I even use some white paint. I have white paint here. If I want to add a few more little whiskers in here or down in here, I can come back in here and add a little you know, a few more whiskers. That's fine. Um, don't get carried away with the white paint. It can become a bad habit. But for the most part, you know, that's a very, very quick, sloppy 10-minute painting. But let's take the tape off. And always looks better when you take the tape off. So uh, I have my students tape their paintings up because once that once that tape comes off, it just, it just looks so much better. So we take this... Uh, tape off here like this and come down here like this and the painting looks much better. Another thing to check to see how we're doing is turn turn the lights off and and if the lights go off you see a little bit more of the the basic but the, again the lesson is get the drawing right get the values right and let's not worry so much about what brand paint what kind what brand brush as long as it's a halfway decent brush Get the drawing right, the value, and this applies for landscape, portrait, anything that you want to be somewhat realistic. We need the drawing right, the values right, and hopefully a good composition and design. Okay? That's it for this lesson.